What's going on, everybody? Thank you all for joining me today. If you haven't already, please make sure you hit the like button because that is the most important thing you can do for me on this channel. What it does is that it helps to make sure that those who are subscribed to the channel will indeed get their notifications, and it also helps to push this video through the YouTube algorithm. Secondly, if you're new to the channel or maybe you've been ghost watching this channel for quite some time now, please do me a favor and yourself a favor by hitting the subscribe button as well as the bell notification next to the subscribe button so you can be notified whenever I release a new video. And lastly, please make sure you share this video out on your social media platforms to your family and friend to inform them on this news and information. And that does also help give me a slight boost in the YouTube algorithm as well. And with the introduction out of the way, let's now get into today's news. And today we are headed to Detroit. And the reason we're headed to Detroit today is because recently the news has been broken that there is a highly sophisticated group of illegal immigrant home invaders that are going all across this nation, not just in Detroit, but in Los Angeles and even in places like Tennessee as well, but going across the nation breaking into high-end homes, stealing up to the tunes of $1 million a week. And I know that a good deal of you, while the news clip is playing, will be thinking to yourself and will be tempted to say, well, that's not my problem. I don't live in a high-end home. You know, I'm being bogged down by inflation, by Biden's inflation. This has nothing to do with me, but it actually has everything to do with you. As I've stated throughout the course of this week and last week, uh, I've been using the term that the United States is candy for the taking. And what, what all this is showing is that from this highly sophisticated group of thieves not being able to be caught, right? With us watching illegal immigrants literally fighting the Texas National Guard and being released on Easter Sunday, what all this shows is that once again, America is candy for the taking if you're an illegal immigrant, because you're seeing over and over and over again from these home invasions that you're about to see from beating up on the Texas National Guard to beating up the NYPD, that if you're an illegal immigrant committing crimes of this nature, you can get away with it. And what that essentially means is that at some point, a not so sophisticated group or individual will come breaking into your home, probably while you're there and end up terrorizing you in the midst of that home invasion, if not getting you out of here altogether. And at that point, now you're going to cry because it's affecting you directly. And if you're not the one crying, your family will be crying on your behalf. And at that point, it's too little too late to care. So yes, you should care about this clip that I'm getting ready to play for you right now and this news that I'm getting ready to deliver. So let's get into this uh, for more detail concerning this highly sophisticated group of illegal immigrant home invaders terrorizing the nation right now. I'm Kimberly Gill. I'm Devin Scillian. The last time we heard about this, the losses were a million dollars a week and the heist seemed to be getting more sophisticated. Well, now the Oakland County Sheriff putting out a new warning. Rod Maloney has the story from Bloomfield Hills. Owning a home on a fairway on one of Metro Detroit's world famous golf courses is a signal that you've arrived financially. But it also can mean in this environment that you have a target on your back and that perhaps going out of town is not a good idea. We think there was at least three to four uh, incursions of the groups in Oakland County in the last four to five days. Three to four incursions in the last four to five days. That's almost an average of a break in a day. That's almost an average of a break in a day. And what you're going to see as this clip continues on is that these guys are in and out. They're not out to harm anybody. They're just out to take your stuff. Once again, we're going to see how highly sophisticated that they are because these guys are really good. And also, I forgot to mention, if you want to watch this video without my commentary, the link to the article with the video embedded in it is in the description box below. Let's carry on. though. 
The security video we've seen over the past six months is chilling enough. Unencumbered and well-equipped thieves knock out glass doors, disable the alarm system, and unconcerned, easily and frankly quite loudly, slide a half-ton safe down a flight of stairs before carrying it off in a rental car. They come in teams with backpacks. Each backpack has a different tool set. Some are the breaching tools, some are the electronics, uh, jam alarm systems. Very quick, sophisticated actions. So these guys come prepared for very quick in and out action. And what you're going to see as this clip carries on is that they're tracking and monitoring the people that live in these homes. They're not just breaking into their homes when they're out to work. They don't take chances like that. They wait for you to go on vacation. These guys are out here flying drones, monitoring you, putting trackers on your car, seeing how far out you went and to, to determine how long you're actually going to be gone. J just let me quit talking, and I'm going to play this for you so you can see. Local, state, and federal officers went to... Let me rewind this back just a little bit because this part is important, what they're going to explain. Quick, sophisticated actions. Local, state, and federal officers went to work and put enough pressure on these thieves to head elsewhere, yet they've cycled back from L.A., New York, Tennessee, and Ohio now, and more efficient than ever. They cycled back from L.A., Tennessee, New York, and Ohio, and now they're back in Detroit. So these guys are going across the nation, this band of thieves, going from home to home to home to home and have not been caught yet. We have no idea who these guys are. And I know some of you are probably thinking to yourself right now, you said that these were illegal immigrants. How do you know that? Well... Let's heck carry on. Shard says the last group of alleged thieves arrested received training in Chile, and they're roving with dozens of others. Let me rewind that back because I interrupted and it started out a little clunky, and I want you to hear this loud and clear. From L.A., New York, Tennessee, and Ohio now, and more efficient than ever. Bouchard says the last group of alleged thieves arrested received training in Chile, and they're roving with dozens of others. Now we know we have teams from Colombia, and uh, New York intelligence has teams, uh, like criminal gangs from Venezuela now. They rent hotel rooms, Airbnbs, apartments, carrying multiple disposable IDs in case they get arrested. Bouchard says if you're leaving your home empty and quiet for a while... If you have an alarm, use it. Try to get your devices hardwired. Try to have redundancy of communication. Now, what ends up happening here is that they're using very sophisticated electronics like trail cameras, putting trackers on your car. Also, they're doing this, he says, against snowbirds. So say you want to be in the in the uh, warm weather in the winter months. Well, guess what happens? Your house is left alone. They're watching. And in fact, he also says that people should be on the lookout for slow rolling people looking at houses, particularly if you know your neighbor is not going to be around for a while. And he says that if you see something like that, a drone for for instance, or that trail camera, call the sheriff's office that he'd rather or much rather have 100 false alarms than miss the one where somebody gets hit really hard by this. Uh, exactly right, Rod. And with a lot of spring break travel right now, exactly. a lot of a lot of people so gone. People yeah. 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 All right, Rod. Once again, highly sophisticated. They're placing trackers on people's cars. They're flying drones over people's homes. Like I said, they're not just hitting you or they're not hitting folks that are just going to work on the fluke chance that they might come home early and now they've been caught. These, this is a highly sophisticated group of home invaders that know precisely where you're going to be and how long you're going to be gone. They know that you went out far and you're not going to be back for a couple of days now. They know that you went on vacation. They know that you're way out of town. And once again, in closing, some of you might be saying to yourself, huh, well, I don't live in a high end home. This has nothing to do with me. But when that not so sophisticated version of these guys come to your little home and break into your home while you're home, and terrorize you and your family in the midst of a home invasion, now you're going to care. But at that point, it's too late. And with all that being said, 
that does it for today's news. So I want to thank you all for watching today. Please hit the like button on your way out. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. Share this video out on your social media platforms. And also don't forget to follow me on Telegram at TD Media Group. The link to my Telegram is in the description box below and will be pinned in the comment section as well. And until the next video, peace and have a great afternoon.